Kayleigh Batchelor entered the courtroom Wednesday the same way he left it six weeks ago, in shackles. Batchelor was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole by Judge Stephen Davis. Because he was convicted of first-degree murder, that is the mandatory sentence that comes with the crime according to Michigan law. Batchelor was convicted of first-degree murder on May 20th. When Judge Davis asked Batchelor if he had anything to say to the court, he quickly replied no, trying to stay out of the camera's view. Delta County Prosecuting Attorney Philip Strom did address the court, saying that Heather's murder was the most heinous crime he's ever seen. After Batchelor was let out of the courtroom, Strom was quick to thank law enforcement and his staff for their efforts in the investigation and the eventual conviction. The Escanaba City Public Safety did a fantastic job during this investigation. And so based on the thoroughness of the investigation, along with the cooperation by the other agencies, I was very confident in this case, and I, I uh, think that was obvious by the, the trial, my statements during the trial and that closing statement. My role in this investigation was to, to basically be a quarterback and guide the investigation through, through the process. Um, during that, I was supported by some of the, the finest law enforcement in the country you know, to, to guide this thing to a successful conclusion. As for the sentence, we feel that someone capable of such brutality and violence is exactly where he should be and off to prison and unable to hurt anyone again. Heather and Kayleigh's two young children, who are six and four years of age, will be taken care of by Heather's friends and family. We are all doing our part to make sure they live as close to a normal childhood as possible, given the circumstances we are in. As for Kayleigh, he will appeal his first-degree murder conviction. In Escanaba, I'm Jerry Taylor for ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.